Hey everybody, Fox here, and welcome back to what I have decided to call um, the collection inspection, which I'm sort of regretting because in my head I keep humming. I don't know if anyone remembers, but I think it was back when it was uh, the presidential election for Kerry vs. Bush. I was in like fourth grade, and I just remember that Nickelodeon had a thing, because I think it was Nickelodeon, had a thing where it was like, election connection from Nickelodeon. It must have been Nickelodeon then. So saying collection inspection is making me think of that, but I wanted something catchy that rhymes. And this is my collection of games. So this is what I could come up with. <laughs> so that's what we're going with. My collection inspection. That's what I'm doing, inspecting my collection. Um, that was a long introduction for a nonsense way of saying, I've been fighting with OBS for way too long at this point. Yes, it is five o'clock in the morning. Um, let's just face it, I don't really sleep that well. Uh, and I have found that I can adjust the lighting better in my room if it's nighttime. And also the street that I live on is much quieter at night, so it's easier to control the noises that I hear and produce. I say that right as a car goes by, of course, of course. Anyway, so, this game is called Eight Doors, a Rum's Afterlife Adventure, um, and it looks to be a little platformer of some sort, um, which could be bad. I'm not exactly great with platformers. Um, yeah, so the description is, it's a story-driven Metroidvania style action platformer heavily influenced by Korean folktales. Um, so this is a rum, a girl that has entered the realm of the afterlife in search of her father's soul. Uh, so that's coming off of the website itself. So I don't know how well this is going to work. You can see I've got new headphones, I've got a new mic situation, we're all good. I don't know how well I'm going to be playing this, but I figured we could at least give it a try because that's what we do. We inspect my collection. Um, that's gonna get so old so quickly, and I know I'm gonna regret calling it that, but I cannot think of anything else that's short and catchy. So, let's dive in. And I am playing with controller. Um, I think it said con it had like partial support or something like that, but now something you're gonna learn about me when I play games is that I have to play on easy. Why? Because I'm here for the fun time, not for a hard time. I want to enjoy the game and not get frustrated. I'd rather, you know, get the full range of what it has to offer without struggling because I do not have patience to struggle unless I get very, very good at the game and it's worth going back to replay it, in which case I will go back to replay it. Uh, so story mode is eight doors is a difficult game that was designed to have players learn, grow and overcome hardship. Oh boy. The story difficulty setting is suitable for players that are new to side-scrolling action games or for those who do not prefer challenging gameplay, such as me. I'm here to explore, not to scream. I like the paper texture in the back. Mmm, that makes me want noodles. Mysterious deaths, heart attacks with no found cause, lone survivor. I have like a cough building in my throat. is cute. I know we're supposed to be probably feeling something that's not cute, but I like the art style. We've arrived. 
Are you having second thoughts? She looks like it. she is. There's no time for that. Dive in. Dive in? Okay. Hey, what are you... You just told her to dive in. Coming to the land of the dead on her own. That's interesting. Aram, was it? Or Aram? I don't know. I'm going to say Aram because that's what's easiest for me to say. If that's incorrect, I apologize. Oh, I guess we're just in now. Okay. Creepy. They never stop coming. What are you doing here? You're in search of your father. Death is inevitable. This is no place for you. Go back to where you belong. Help. You are an annoyance. <laughs> Head to the Death Tavern and search there. I can't help you anymore. Take these if you need them. Well then, bye. What is this? Ooh, start of the journey. So, okay, slicey, jump. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh, hold A to jump, hold A to, oh, press A to jump, hold A to jump higher. Okay. Press X to attack. Repeatedly press X to perform a combo attack. Each weapon has its own combo attack. Some attacks deal more damage. I like the noise that the slicey makes. <laughs> Actually, I like the noise that everything makes. Press B when your health is low to restore HP by using potions. Well, I'm fine, so... This is like the extent of horror that I can handle. Press A and down to jump un down under the platform. Hold the key to pass through multiple platforms at once. Ah, coolio. <laughs> when in doubt, just use your scythe and you'll be able to open treasure chests. Right, hold, not double press. Do, do I hit you? No. Ribbit! A specter! Do croak. <laughs> Wait, what? You're no specter. Did you come here alone, Ribbit? What? How? For real? That's nonsense. I must be dreaming. Oh my, this is surreal. To meet a living person here in the purgatory? What? You're here to find your father? Hmm... Hmm. I can't believe I'm doing this, but... Ribbit. I'll guide you to the Death Tavern. Ribbit. My name is Ducroak. Ribbit. Don't expect any fancy voices from me. I cannot keep a, a voice steady. The most merciful being in the purgatory you'll ever find. Many know me as the faithful Ducroak. Ribbit. You are fortunate to have met me, Ribbit. He's on my head. I have a frog hat. Now that you're with me, just follow my lead. Ribbit. The first place spirits visit in the purgatory is the Death Tavern. There you'll be able to find the whereabouts of your father. Ribbit. Map of purgatory. It shows the areas of purgatory explored. Press bleh to check the map. Oh. Well, haven't explored very much, have I? Press LT to roll. You can evade obstacles and specters by rolling attack. You can evade obstacles and specters attacks by rolling. You can't roll while attacking. There are some obstacles and attacks and specters that you cannot dodge. 
Uh, hold on. What, what was it? Okay, let's ignore the fact. I know my lefts and rights. So shut up. <laughs> Left trigger. I'm over here pressing right trigger. Her little noises. Ouch. Is this a checkpoint? What is this? Life is shorter and death is longer than you'd think. How would you like to cease to exist? You said that with a period. Don't like that. Crispy. So that must be a checkpoint. Ew. No, thank you. Can I? Is this a secret? It is. <laughs> Hi. See that you moved until I jumped. Ugh. This is why I put it on story. Jump! Oh, nope, you're a good one. A horrifying specter will eat me. I'm just prey to a specter. Okay, that's a you problem. Ah. Can I make it over here? No, I probably could, but I'm not gonna try. Oh, hold on, okay. Do I want to go down or do I want to go up? I went up. Oh, I jumped, but I jumped too soon. I wonder what those are. Or if they're just lights. I mean, they are just lights, but like, I wonder if they're important. Or if I'm supposed to be doing something with them. Uh oh. I did it. Blessings to you who has found this place. Dawn of Death Guardian, the essence of extinct guardians of death. Pray to them to acquire their power and learn a new skill. I can use my power to expand my body to duoxini form. I'm not going to say that correctly. Once I'm in my form, moving that boulder will be a piece of cake. Oh, there's a whole leveling system. Oh my gosh. Okay. Press right trigger to transform Ducroak that has the power of Duoxini into his expanded form. Press it again to shrink him back. I feel so tense when I'm not on someone's head. Okay. I know, I did that already. What am I doing? Why is he big again? I finally reached where I can stop running. Now 
do it all the way back? Can I just keep him like this? Is there a penalty for keeping him like this? I think I can't fight if he's like that. <laughs> I like how he runs though. Uh, here we go. Is there... Can I... No. Okay, so they reset every time I leave the screen. I don't like that one. Hmm, there we go. Can I push? Oops. I'm getting the hang of it. Tsk, a barrier. Cool. sharp is on my controller. Well, don't do that. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Ugh. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe. Nope, don't want to deal with you. Goodbye. Is it for map? Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh, what are you? How did you find this place? You come to Purgatory alone? You are certainly an interesting one. I travel through Purgatory and draw maps. Nothing beats the excitement of adventure. Not sure how you got here, but do find me if you need geographical information. I'll give you everything I know, ho ho. Do you need a map? Yeah, I mean, I have enough. A map created by Zhang Ho. It shows the landscape of the Kingdom of Yama. Ho ho ho, veteran pathfinders could find their way to the Death Tavern blindfolded. Well, I am not a veteran pathfinder. What did that do? Oh, hey, look at that. I mean, it doesn't really help me because I... Already, okay. Anyway, goodbye. Yeah. Froggy friend. Stop doing that brain. Oh my gosh. I have played so many different games in the last couple days that have like different controls. Like I went from playing, um, I went from playing like Skyrim, who already has a different jump button than like 90% of the games. And then I was playing Cyberpunk, which has a different button than Skyrim. And now I'm playing this, which like it has the typical jump button. But it's like, I, because I was playing Skyrim earlier, my brain wants to hit the wrong button. <sighs> At least there's no fall damage. My cat is being extra loud today. Ah, don't. Okay, hope your soul will be safe. Thank you. Ooh, is it boss time? Spectres, those who are lost, come with me. Together, we make a new world. 
Mm, boss time. Look, I'm just gonna take the hits. Wrong direction, buddy oh. Did I win? No, I'm stuck in this corner. How do I... <laughs> health bar, please. This is gonna take a while. I'll return when I win. <laughs> I just had to stop talking and focus. Unknown flower, the red veins in your leaves on the leaves catches your eye. Am I almost at the death tower? Tavern. Are you a good or a bad? Stop. This is the world for the dead. You're a living person. Why did you come to the purgatory? It's reckless of you to come all the way here. Death is inevitable. You can't change fate even if you do manage to find your father's soul. I hope you won't regret your choice. Hmm, my sword is reacting violently today. It's you. You're the one that my sword is responding to. That's odd. Well, it's either one of the two. It likes you or wants to eradicate you. Patrol. Did something happen to you on your way here? I did hear sinful cries of specters nearby. You seem alright. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just want to go around you. Welcome! Is this the Death Tavern? Yeah, I did it! What are you? Hmm, you're new, right? Ah, doesn't matter. I'm only here to sell my items. Hey, safety comes first when you're traveling purgatory. Why not buy my items? You'll be sorry if you don't. Hehehe. <laughs> I'll give you a special discount, so come by anytime. Hehehe. <laughs> what do you have? You need something already? You just told me to buy stuff. Take a look at what I have to offer. Hot po potions restore HP. They restore more than small potions. I don't really have enough money for any of this. Plant that erases memories can be used to reset perks. Store harvested souls and fugitive souls. Do I need to store souls? Oh, it increases max health. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go in here and then probably call it for this game. I'm gonna try to keep mo some. As, I, wanna, I wanna keep as many of these recordings. Not short. I wanna show off the game, but like 
it's an inspection, it's not an audit. Haha, <laughs> I'm so funny. Ah! Oh man, I was so close. Was I playing for too long? I see a living person. Ah! Oh my, you're real. You came to the purgatory alone? That can't be. A living person can't come to the purgatory alone. What? You're looking for a soul? Looking for a soul? What are you even talking about? All right, calm down. Calm yourself. I am calm. You're the not calm one. I can't calm down. First of all, go ask the master of Death Tavern. Okay. Hi. Here to sign up your soul? Do croak. What's going on? Ma'am, I can explain. So your father and town villager suddenly died, and you came to the purgatory to find your father. Ha! Ha 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 ha. Death is inevitable, little one. Every human dies eventually. It's amusing that you came to the purgatory alone for such a reason. Well, since you're here, the least I can do is check. Girl, are you sure your father's dead? That's odd. His soul never stopped by. What a hassle. Hey, you. I don't intend to stop you from finding your father's soul, but I can't stop what I'm doing here just to find one lost soul. This means that you'll have to find him yourself. Are you sure you're up to this? Yes. Be careful. Do croak. Ribbit. Go to the observation deck with her. I'm afraid I'm too busy, Ribbit. So you have chosen death. I'm sorry, I'll get right on up, ma'am. Ribbit. Listen carefully. First, visit the observation deck and ask where your father's soul is. If he's dead, you should be able to find his soul somewhere in the purgatory. After you've located him, you can go and find him. From now on, you'll travel around the purgatory as a temporary guardian of death. Now go. A nameplate proves that the holder is a guardian of death, a gourd that absorbs sin from your enemies. You can use the acquired sin energy to use skills, a durable you can use to store fugitive souls. What do you do? A living person? Wow, you came to the purgatory alone? It's the first time since that person. How did you get here? Do you have special powers? Where is this place? Ah, this is the death tavern where, soul, where souls stay a night before their trials begin. Recently, we've been swamped with so many souls coming in. Too much work and we are understaffed. Anyway, please enjoy your stay at the Death Tavern. You! You! No, this can't be. How are you here? Wh what? You came to the purgatory to find your father? That makes no sense. The living can't cross the border of the dead. This can't be real. I must be dreaming. You there. How dare you ignore me, the guard of Death Tavern. Where the heck are you from? Ugh, kids these days. Don't you know basic manners and respect? Wait, are you from the land of the living? Came looking for your father? Ha, <laughs> that's a brave girl. I like your confidence. Girl, there must be a lot of things that you don't... about this world. Don't know about this world. Come find me if you need anything. I'll tell you everything I know. Okay. Alright, well... I made it to Death Tavern. I beat a boss. I didn't get too frustrated. And I think it's a cute game. I really like the music. I really like the sounds. I like the characters. If I was a, a platformer girly, I would definitely play more of this. I'm not a platformer girly. Platformer. Why is that a weird word for me to say? So this isn't sort of this isn't my game, but I definitely see the appeal and I think it's really adorable and I love everything about it really i just wish i could do these types of games because i can't so if you like platformers if you like metroidvania-esque platformers if you're interested in the folklore behind um this sort of thing i love the sort of mythos that goes with it it plays very smoothly if you know what you're doing which i don't the music's lovely um i do have it on story but i don't imagine for people who enjoy platformers, that'll be terribly difficult for you. Or at least not so much in that it will make it a pain to play. But I think if you like platformers, the difficulty will be something that you're used to. Um, so I will leave a link to the game down in the description if you are interested. Um, if you liked this video, <laughs> then feel free to like, leave a comment, share, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. I'm Fox. And I will see you in my next episode of the Collection Inspection. Bye!